I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is January 21st, 2017. And in this video, I wanted to kind of go over um, something I recently discovered on my machine. My SSD drive has been degrading over time. Okay, looking over my records, it looks like I bought this in a uh, 2.5 inch uh, Crucial M4 SSD drive on February 13th, 2013. So looking at the days between that, it looks like it's a little over 1400 days and almost four years. So this has been used for almost four years. So I'll put that out there. Um, but it's interesting to note that it looks like it has, its speed has degraded over time. So here's the actual drive and I'll probably put some of these links in the show notes for anyone who's interested. So this is just the Amazon page for the, the drive. This is the exact drive I got and this is the exact um, code for it, I guess. Um, and then here is a, a link uh, to their actual specs from the crucial company. And here's my drive. It looks like it should have a read speed of up to 500 megabytes and a write speed of up to 260 megabytes. So, um, you know, pretty fast for back in the day for four years ago. Uh, and, but for me, unfortunately, four years ago, I didn't really, I probably did test it knowing me, but I didn't record the test to show how fast it was going. Um, but I did go look around. I found an older article here on PCStats.com, and it goes over this exact drive. And so here it is, a Crucial M4 256 gigabyte SATA 3 drive, which is the exact drive I have. And they ran Crystal Disk Mark benchmarks back then, so I actually have something to go off of. So I'm basically assuming that these were true. And knowing me, I probably tested it to make sure it was going about this fast back then. Um, and so I, wanna, I ran some tests yesterday. And I'm, in some cases, about half the speed. So I want to run those tests right now and compare them to what uh, this benchmark did, you know, essentially four years ago. Um, also to show, real quickly, just to prove the fact, here's my disk drives, and there it is, M4 CT256. So just to prove that that's actually the drive that I have. Um, let's see. Anything else of note is this is my development machine. So it does get abused yes and it gets used a lot so it's probably on i don't know an average at least 10 or 12 hours a day six seven days a week doing something um but with that it's it's seen heavy use i would say but not abusive use where i haven't just done things just to really deteriorate it um so with that let me get going on the test so here i have the crystal disc mark 5 the latest crystal disc and it looks like they've changed things a little bit but i'm going to try to mirror what they've done here as best I can. And so here we can see we have a 100 megabyte test. And so I will drop this down to a 100 megabyte test. And it looks like they've changed some of these things. So the sequential 32 and 4K Q32, I'm not going to run because it looks like those have changed maybe over time. But the sequential and the 4K, I'll run those and kind of see what I get. So there we go, there's my sequential. And if you look at that and compare the two, here we'll line up a little bit better there. So they were getting 42, which makes sense according to the spec for a read speed. I'm getting 243. For a write speed, they were getting 284, I'm getting 210. So we can see the write speed went down a little bit, but not by a lot, but the read speed went down a lot. And I knew this SSD drive, you know, SSD drives currently by their nature, they're not gonna last forever, um, but they're gonna last a while, but kind of when they fail over, they're going to, they're going to die. I don't expect this thing to last 10 or 20 years, unlike a spinning disc probably could. Um, but I didn't know this would degrade over time like this. So it's interesting to see that that occurred. So now I'm roughly half the speed on my read. Uh, still a lot faster than a, than a spinning disc, especially, um, well, any spinning disc. I don't think you're going to get any faster than that by any means. Uh, but let me run the 4K here. Oh, there we go. So now looking at the 4K, you're we're going from 23 to 14, so we drop by more than a third. And from 75 down to 35, that's a huge drop there. That's more than half, right? Yeah, probably a 60% 60, 60 drop, roughly. Um, so I'm wondering if anyone else is having the same experience I'm having. Now, I'm not complaining. This is a four-year-old SSD drive. It's just interesting to know that it degrades over time. It's been used heavily for four years, 
Is anyone else in the same boat I am that they've got an SSD drive they've had for three or four years and they've have they have they, have they seen this go down like this? Uh, it's interesting. So that's it for the important part of the video. But for the rest of the video, I'm going to go through and redo all these tests, the sequential and the 4K, in each of the tests, each of the tests this guy did, just to show you what I get compared to what he did. He got originally, or I probably would have got originally had I run these tests four years ago. Okay, so let's go up to 500 and hit sequential. Okay, same thing. We went from 477 all the way down to 246, so roughly half. And 281 to 206, so not near much as much a drop on the right. Um, let me go run the 4K. Okay, so there we go. We went down again, 22 to 14, 73 to 35. Then we go scroll down and run the other test here. There's a gigabyte test. Okay, and there we see the drop there. So it went from 510 to 240 and 22 to 207, so very similar drops. Let me run the 4K here. Okay, and similar again, 22 to 14, 73 down to 34. Let me go run a 2 terabyte test here. Oh, it's still running. Well, wow. it's not going to change much. I'll stop it. And go to 2 gigs and run it. Okay, there's a similar drop there, 504 down to 244, 281 down to 200, so everything seems pretty consistent as far as the drops. Let me run the 4K test. Okay, similar again, 22 down to 13, 73 down to 34. And the last one they have in here is a 4 gig. So I'll do that one, but in this case, even though I think the tests have changed over time a little bit with this Q32 and and 4K Q32, I'm going to just run them all. And so you can see the comparison. If you know enough about those things, maybe they're similar enough that they are valid. But I'll just run them all. Okay, and there we go. So if I look now at the sequential, I can see uh, from 501 down to 243, from 270 down to 199, and for the 4K, what am I, 23 down to 13, and 75 down to 34. So the drop's pretty consistent. Um, so there's the stats. Okay, so in conclusion, um, I'm not complaining about the crucial drive. Uh, it's been working great. I wish it hadn't degraded by half over four years, but I'm not going to complain either because a spinning disc would have just been stuck at 100 anyway, so 283 is still a lot better than 100 or less. Um, in fact, my plan is to probably buy more crucial drives. They've done a good job by, by my standard. They've, they've been a good company. So um, probably the only thing... Uh, so, hey, anyone else have any interesting data that they've collected? Hey, post below or, or put a, put a message up there, a link to a video showing what yours has has, has occurred on yours. That's interesting. Uh, but for me, uh, the only debate I have now is it might be time for an upgrade. So it's more than an, enough upgrade time for upgrade on my on my computer itself. But I'm still debating because I can't find what I want. Um, if I did upgrade my system rather than getting a normal SATA SSD. 
a lot of the newer, better machines have the PCIe SSDs, which are, you know, I think in the range of 1500 to 2000 in speed, which is awesome. Um, the SATA 3 is just limited. It can only get up to about five or 600, no matter what you do. Um, but I may look at the prices right now. I may just go ahead and keep this machine for another six or seven months because I can't find the machine I want. But I may go drop in a new hard drive. And looking around, it looks like, um, where did I go find? The Crucial. They have this, the new Crucial is an MX300 and a one terabyte is going for 260, which is not bad. So I might go blow the money on that and get myself upgraded. And then this laptop's probably going to be good another six or seven months for my need. Um, but also to put that in perspective, I did do a little search and I found out, uh, someone ran this test against the, the new MX300 one terabyte. And you can see the, the speed differences here. So they were getting 534, 306. They're getting good speeds. Um, not monumental compared to what the MX4 should have done at first. Uh, but we can see the speeds are good. And if I were, were to swap out, I should see those increases if I go buy that. So, yeah, probably well worth the money. Time to upgrade. So in conclusion... It looks like SSDs degrade over, degrade over time, or could degrade over time. Uh, it took four years of heavy use to go down by half. I'm not excited about that. If it took four years and went down by a quarter or a third, I probably wouldn't complain so much. Down by half, I'd rather that not happen. Um, and I imagine the SSD drives, as, as time goes on, will get better and better. But they keep getting cheaper and cheaper, so if I have to replace one every four years, that's not a bad deal. So, anyway... That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.